big chunk and out. And if you hear it, she can also hiss very loudly. Yeah. That's to help scare predators away as well. Oh yeah, you can hear it. She's like kind of almost like exhaling a, a big, you know, exhaling a lot. And then look at, I mean, these frills are really cool. You don't see this in any other reptile, do you? No, not really. She also also she also has the color around her mouth, the bright yellow, to kind of make her mouth look bigger and make herself look a little bit more fierce. Wow. Yeah, she's definitely pretty fierce looking. Now, this is a pretty well known Australian animal because in Australia, what? Well, are you already? Yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> Look at her, she's like flying around. And in Australia, she's actually on the two cent coin as well. She is. Wow, she is <laughs> definitely defending herself. Now, let's say if push came to shove, how does this reptile get out of the way of becoming an easy meal for some Australian predator? When push comes to shove, she can turn around and run on her back feet. Holy cow. Now, I've seen these guys before, like in the wild, when they're actually running. You said that if they get to a top speed, they actually bring up their body a little bit and actually just depend bipedally, which means that they're going to run solely on their hind legs. Neil, I can't thank you enough. Whenever you're in Petaluma, California, definitely check out the Wildlife Museum and meet some of these amazing animals that use body language just like we do to survive.